Let's suppose I live with my college roommate. We have a script idea, and we are both writing it, and we've completed this amazing 100-page script. We're going to shop it around. We're friends, so there's nothing to worry about, right? That's, it's... Err. No? Okay. <laughs> Wrong again. <laughs> Wrong again. And this is so common. We, I, I hate to say it, but once or twice a year, every year, the problem comes in because it doesn't, it doesn't happen until one of two things. Either you can't sell it, so one wants to change it dramatically, the other one doesn't, or you get an offer, one wants to take it, one doesn't. It's that point in time, and then you don't have an agreement. What do we do? Who gets to decide? It's a mess. There are, there's an easy collaboration agreement with comments, and the way the book is set up, there's an uh, email address where you just type it in and you'll get a clean copy, Word, Word version, downloadable, that you can change and use, and then you just follow the book along with how to use it, because this, this book, when it talks about contracts, has a lot of instructional boxes that tell you how to use the contracts that are in the book. At what point am I doing this? Early. Very, very, very When you guys are early. still friends and yes. living together <laughs> and loving each other and yeah. loving the script. Um, you know, yeah. we see it all the time and if people have interesting memories, bad memories, different memories of what the agreement was. Who created the storyline? Who was the first person to come up with this idea? And we, come th we have so many outlandish things that come in the office. I had a guy who came in here one time and he insisted that he created the storyline and wasn't the writer. He worked with a friend who actually had the experience in writing, but he basically created the entire story. And the other guy came in and said, absolutely not. This was totally my thing. He came up with a little bit of an idea. I expanded it. I wrote the script. He gave me a few notes that weren't even helpful. I mean, the stories were night and day. And so had they initially, and they ended up actually just scrapping the project. It was essentially, they just burnt the script. They said, forget it. We're not going to move forward with each other. Um, and there's, there's no way we're going to reconcile this. And had they just at the beginning put together something simple, something, a simple collaboration agreement or something simple even by email saying, you know, I came up with this, you came up with this, we're going to work together, we're going to be owners on this 50-50. Um, since I have the experience more as a producer, I'm going to shop this and I'll come to you with any sort of deals and we'll make sure that we're both okay with it. You know, something very simple just that outlines what will happen in success and what will happen if one of us wants to move on. What if somebody gets a full-time job and they can't work on the script anymore? Um, so just to lay out those contingencies, even in a simple way, is so important. Um, and from another practical perspective, if the film does get sold or somebody's interested in it, they don't want to deal with the drama between the two writers. They want that resolved. They who's, yeah. who's fa whose name is first? You know, <laughs> all of that kind of stuff. They want it settled, otherwise they move on to the next project because there are a lot of scripts out there. So even a simple email exchange in the initial beginning of forming the story idea would have been satisfactory? Yeah, or helpful. helpful. You know, how it, sometimes it might have been completely conclusive, like this is the deal. In other circumstances, you might say, well, there's seven other email strings, and look what we said over here, you know, so there certainly could be that, but it's always helpful to have at least something in writing. How A does lot of help? people avoid it because they want to uh, avoid some sort of conflict, and when people say that to me, I say, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're going to avoid a conflict now, to cruise, but you're going to face it someday. So you, you don't want to put all the, pro the time and effort into writing a script and then not know what you're going to do with it. Decide that now. Yeah. Decide it when you can say, oh, okay, that's the way you want to, okay, I guess I don't want to write a script with you. Because that's a big commitment. Sure. People are making these commitments all the time without an understanding of how's it going to play out. Because not every script gets immediately sold for a million bucks and made into a film that wins an Academy Award. Mm -hmm. There are actually scripts written that that doesn't happen to. You learn a new thing every day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How does one have the talk then? With, with a friend, roommate, whatever, was, collaborator. Was the question, how does one have the doctor? Yeah, how do you do it in a non-threatening way that's not like, oh, hey, my lawyer asked me to send this to you. And so, How does someone do it in a, in a very sort of easygoing way, eventually bringing out some type of 
contract, right. but well, that's non-threatening. I think non the first words out of your mouth is, before we actually start writing, okay, comma, comma, <laughs> dot, 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 okay. Maybe we should talk about the business side of our relationship, period. Next sentence. <laughs> like, whose name will go first on the script? As, as one, that's one issue that should be solved. Uh, are we going to be 50-50 owners? You're just putting the questions there. Yeah, and it, it is. Un I do understand it is uncomfortable, especially when you're working with friends to talk about those things. But it's so important, and you can even say, "I just read this book, Clearance and Copyright, and it suggested that we have this conversation <laughs> now." Um, yeah. You know, and, and I think it that it can be do. I think it can be done in a way. Because it's beneficial for both parties. You know, you're not saying, let's have this conversation because I'm trying to protect my interests. It's like, let's have this conversation because in the event we're lucky enough for someone to want to buy this, we need to have all these things worked out. So let's just work it out now, you know? So if someone's response to that, which I've, I've heard this, oh, I'm totally cool, I'm so easygoing, don't even worry about totally. it. <laughs> but, yeah. dot, 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 then you would interject with, that sounds great, so am I, but let's just get this right. And right. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I think it's just having that conversation that can be a little bit difficult, but one that will be so much more difficult and can potentially ruin your project down the road if you wait. Yeah. And you know, if it turns out that the two of you have a very different idea, like, oh yeah, we'll write it together, we'll own it 50-50, but I get to make all the decisions about how it's exploited. Oh. Can we talk about that? No, that's a, that's an absolutely. Okay, maybe I don't want to write the script with yeah. you. And, and then your, your plate, your life is open for some other project that where the working relationship is better. Yeah, and that is a good point. If you can't have that conversation with the person you're writing a script with, maybe you shouldn't be writing that script with that person.